Imagine proposing a radical new idea to an organization that is 136 years old and predates Ohio State football, an organization that is steeped in tradition and history. Now, this idea that you're proposing has never been tried anywhere else in the world, and you don't really know if it's going to work. That's what we walked into. We went in to get permission to do this crazy idea that we had come up with from our director, uh, John Waters. And he said, I would never stand in the way of two young men who have a passion and a plan for their idea. Uh, and you know, after we got that permission, then we knew we really had some work to do. We had to find something that would let us use our music on the iPad, something that would let us read our drill, and a way to kind of keep it all together and make it useful. Now it was time for us to present our idea. I remember a few nights before the presentation, I stayed up really late constructing this email, inviting as many important people from Ohio State as I could find, anyone that I thought should go. I think I even invite, invited Gordon Gee. And, and I was full of excitement for what could be with this project. But then when it was time to send the email, I was froze with my finger above the send button. This idea was full of risk, and I didn't really know how it was going to turn out. But then I remember some of the band's best traditions started off as crazy ideas that people said no to. So I hit send. The presentation ended up going great, but we knew there was a lot of work ahead of us. And you know the end of the story. You know, you know what happened. Uh, we got a grant. We got 45 iPads to give out. And um, so that, that first day when they, they said they finally came, it was right before the season was about to begin. I mean, I just felt like a kid on Christmas. They gave this nerd 45 iPads to unbox and put in these cases. And, you know, make sure they were working the right way. And, uh, but it was almost like, I don't, I don't want to offend anyone, but it was almost like having a child. I mean, we had gone through all this work already. I mean, it was crazy. But we knew that, you know, now that it was here, we had so much work to do. But uh, we didn't have any idea what was going to happen next. So now we had the iPads. This is some of the most exciting times. But we knew it was critical that we had to silence some of the doubters. The entire band's always used paper, and the band's always been good. So statements came like, why should we use iPads? Why now? We both knew, Charlie and I, that this was going to push the band outside of their comfort zone. But we knew that this could make the best damn band in the land even better. But the, the reality is that Charlie and I were afraid. We had staked our entire reputation amongst our peers on this single idea. But even more than that, the thing that kept us, kept us up at night was letting the band down. We, we didn't have to worry too much, it turned out, uh, about those problems that we anticipated. We anticipated them well, and we mitigated them in a lot of good ways. Um, and I think it's a good stat. I mean, zero out of the 45 that we had, uh, the iPads, these people were taking them outside, using them all the time. Zero broke. No screen cracks, nothing. So obviously, we did a pretty nice job. But the thing we didn't anticipate is getting contacted from the university to do all these interviews, and then local media stations, and then national media stations, and then I mean, you've seen it on TV, international kind of stardom. And uh, it, we just were not prepared for that. Seeing an idea go from a collection of thoughts and PowerPoint slides and something that's real and tangible is a feeling that you can't describe. And we had realized at this point, after everyone had been telling us how great this idea was, that we had changed the band. But I think even more than that, this idea changed the two of us. It taught us a lot about ourselves how to work with someone who's pretty different from, I, from myself, but to create something that's really special. Uh, our talk's about innovation, but um, you know, we obviously value tradition. I mean, we're from a, a group that is backed with a lot of tradition. Um, and we have these things. I'm trying to get to the slide. Ah, yes. <laughs> so traditions come from innovations of the past. And uh, sometimes it's hard to break a tradition, but the reality is that you know, eventually your innovation will, will become that tradition. And you have to look for these places where you can innovate and continuously improve to, to create these great traditions. Have a passion and a plan for your idea. Your passion will sustain you even through periods of self-doubt. And plan. Even the best ideas, with the best of intentions, fall by the wayside due to lack of planning and preparation. Give your idea the best chance of succeeding by doing your planning and knowing everything there is to know about your idea. Now, all of you Ohio State students out there, make your time worthwhile while you're here. Take risks, don't be afraid of failure, and ask yourself, what will your legacy be?
Harris and our alma mater, Carmen Ohio. Last three notes. Thank <laughs> you.